it's it's way early two and two you know there's only 18 games i get it every loss is tough and it feels to me and th that's the question that it's really more about the way the last two losses have been and not just the fact that they're losses it's kind of how they happened yeah look uh, um I thought we played, um, did some really good things in the Green Bay game. We let it get away from us in the last quarter. I think there were some circumstances there out of our control, but but it happened. Last game was a little different. We didn't play well. I didn't think we played well in, in on either side of the ball. And we, we made some mistakes that we just can't make and expect to, uh, to beat a good football team. So we've got to get that corrected. And, and look, I agree, the sky's not falling, and yet, we also have to act like it is falling in some degree to some degree and have a sense of urgency about improving, paying attention to details. And otherwise we're going to find ourselves in the same boat, um, you know, week after week. What is kind of the message? Because it, again, week, uh, week four, two and two, if you look over the last nine years, the saints have had four, two and two starts and one, including 2020, where you one game away from the NFC championship game. So better than two and two in the last nine years, twice. Worse than two and two in the last nine years, four times. So you, this is not a horrific place to be in, but what's the message from the building top down as it works its way through you to Dennis? Yeah, I, I think the message is, is look, we've got, we've got to understand, we've got to be realistic about, about what um, we're doing that is not allowing us to win. We've got to be realistic about it, and we have to go about making corrections. I think we all believe we have a good football team, and, but yet we're not playing, you know, well. Um, we've done some really good things, even within these games, uh, but we've got to put that all together. And that, that comes from preparation uh, during the week and then being ready and, and, you know, taking advantage of the circumstances and the opportunities on the weekend. So I don't think, I don't think there's panic, and yet we need to have urgency. That's that's probably a, an excellent way uh, to to describe it. You know, uh, you and and Dennis both talk a lot about situational football. And if you look at this, it's just this past Sunday. I mean, it, it becomes we had three scoring drives: uh, eleven plays, twelve plays, fourteen plays, eighteen minutes of clock. But you got the three field goals, and they had seventeen plays, ten plays. Then they had the two play. Uh, drive because of the fumble, but it's 14 minutes o'clock. So it's kind of the worst of both worlds because you're both chewing up pretty good, solid chunks of time. You're scoring field goals. They're scoring touchdowns. I mean, that is exactly kind of what, what you talk about with situational football. Yeah, I think I think that's been a little bit of the theme of, of our all four games this season is we've moved the ball effectively at times, and yet we, you know, we get to the red zone and we'll have a negative play. We'll have something that'll happen, a penalty. And we end up kicking a field goal. We've got to convert red zone opportunities into touchdowns. And historically, we've been pretty good at that. So we've got to get back to that. We end, look, our, our coaches on offense, our players on offense all understand that. This is not some um, um, deep secret. <laughs> we understand what needs to be done. And we're going to go about uh, uh, attacking that and see if we can get it corrected. I guess that's kind of the, the question is diagnosing what we just talked about, right? Maybe that's you know, and then addressing it, when you look at your offense or your defense, whatever whatever you choose, the things that are fixable, better execution in the red zone. It's, it's, it is the, if it were just one thing like sacks or penalties, you know, that's different, but it, it is, it's never the same thing. So I guess there are things out there offensively and defensively that can be worked on, but that's what it is during the week. Yeah, I, look, it would be much easier if it was one thing that we needed to correct and, and uh, one area that we needed to correct. But I think, you know, each week it's been something a little different. It's not any one player, one position group, or one thing. It's been uh, just a culmination of, of some other things. And uh, um, we understand that. It gets back to, hey, do your job, do just your job and do it well, and then everything will come together. And so – I think that's the message more than anything else is let's let's each of us do our jobs uh, to the best of our ability and the end result will be what we desire. Especially when it comes to something like tackling, we've we kind of focused a lot on the offense. I thought that Tyron Matthew after the game said, and this I'm just quoting, he said, he said, we're falling back into some of the patterns where we think someone else is going to make the tackle. 
you know, that's that stuff that can be worked on during the week. And that's 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 exactly what you want to avoid. But I mean, he, he kind of said it. Look, I, I think we've we've played some really good defense for the most part during um, during these four games. I, I felt like we've had a couple lapses in the last six quarters that have really hurt us. Uh, we've had some penalties that have really hurt us at really inopportune times um, over the last couple games. And so we just have, have to be aware of that. We have to not put ourselves in that position where we can have a critical you know, mistake at a critical point in time. And so, I, look, our players and coaches understand that. Um, and I, I, I'm really confident they'll get that corrected.